All right, so just finished arm day. Um, I was able to film some of my cable work. Uh, didn't get much of uh, footage from uh, free weights because it, it was packed down there. Um, but while I've got it up, while I'm able to film in the gym, I'll go ahead and take you guys on a little tour of this place. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> the thing behind me, those are indoor soccer fields. They're pretty awesome. Um, so let's go on a little tour. This is where I was just at, uh, indoor soccer fields. And then this is actually kind of a little lounge, but it's a gaming area. You can check out video games from uh, downstairs at the front desk. I mean, it is a rec center, you know, elevator. Uh, don't want to film inside of the ladies' room. That would be very inappropriate. Um, but there's this huge indoor track. And uh, rowing area, little small cable free movement area, uh, and then the uh, stretching area. And then, <clears throat> yeah, rooftop, lets in a lot of light. And then there's this pretty sweet uh, mat room really cool but the stretching area and then here's the top of the climbing wall I'll show you guys better view of that it's pretty cool several basketball courts Another dance studio, cardio studio, whatever. <coughs> and then some of the machines and cardio city. And then they've got like these little cool things that are kind of hidden everywhere. Um, little terraces. I think this one is on the rooftop of the first story, I think. And and grab mats come out here and do stuff it's pretty cool um uh, and this is i mean this is technically the third story but i'll show you guys that later more cardio equipment some cable machines uh monkey bars okay. can't really see it but down there is the free weights and the CrossFit functional training room. And then more lounges. We'll walk down there. They didn't all the way they've got it set up, but it's actually just, it's a new construction. <laughs> Basketball courts, ping pong, nice little lounge. And they've got these little lounges everywhere. And here's the uh, TRX suspension training. Uh, room pool table some shuffleboard I haven't noticed hadn't noticed that before I'll be up here playing some shuffleboard and then these indoor soccer courts are pretty sweet they're uh, super nice another little seating area it is for a college campus, so a lot of people come in here, chill out, do their homework, <coughs> just to get away from the uh, the hustle and bustle of campus life, I guess. And then another studio in there. Right. Racquetball courts. studio and then you've got the bottom floor which most of over there is the rock climbing wall and office space and then more lounges another uh, three basketball courts 
and volleyball courts that are permanently set up. And then they've got the regular swimming pool and over, can't really tell, but right in that area is where the Olympic size lap pool starts. And they have this huge monitor up on the wall right there. And they play movies that I can't remember the, I think it's called dive-in movies. Like once every few weeks where everybody comes and they get a little float and float in the pool while they watch the movie. Pretty cool idea. I just don't like swimming in people soup. So, so this is the outside. A lot of benches and stuff just to come and chill. Right next to a super busy road. I do like the fact that it's across the street from the police station. And then they're building a parking garage finally after a million years. But yeah, they're building the parking garage. Right now, the only uh, parking they have is parking lot that they actually have is on the opposite side of the gym. And it's for faculty and retirees, um, which kind of sucks because that means all of the students either have to walk from campus, which in reality, it's not that far, but you've got a, a major road in the city that cuts between campus and the rec center. Um, not to mention the creepy tunnel that goes under the railroad tracks. But there's a... Uh, means all of the, cam the kids from campus have to park on my street and throughout my neighborhood, which sucks. Um, but... Yeah, I'm still walking down the side of the building. This place, it's massive. And I haven't even explored all of it yet. So, I mean, there's like little hidden stuff and I find something new every time I go in here. And it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. I've, uh, I don't know. It's been a couple of weeks and everybody here, I mean, there's not really any know-it-all college kids there's they're all just on their fitness journey nobody really judges anyone everybody's polite i haven't really ran into any any a-holes up here yet so i don't know how long it'll be before that happens <clears throat> but we'll see um i wish they would have done something better with the landscaping back here well, i'll show you guys like seriously it's just it's a poorly planned trench. I mean, it's like got its own little dam system for water runoff and stuff, but it's like the third time they've planted plants out here and they die every single time. The first time they planted them and sprayed some kind of crap on them and it literally burned all of the plants. So they had to take like three days to replant every single plant back there. They planted them all by hand, so you can only imagine how, the, how much that sucked. But uh, that's it for, for the tour. All right, so just got back from the gym and got a fun little package in the mail. I don't even know what it is. I think it's something that I ordered a while ago. We're gonna find out. And I don't know how you vloggers do this stuff opening everything one-handed this is not easy All right. ha. hey it's a tooth whitening kit or teeth whitening kit that I ordered like a month ago let's see what's in this thing oh god this is oh god oh lord okay this is Alright, so I finally got it open. Let's see. Oh Jesus. Was, they they packed this thing in here. Like get out of here. You know what? I'm about to lose my mind with this thing. So the swab. Like everything sticks to this packaging. Don't mind my load of towels. I've got to do laundry. Uh, as I'm sure you can also hear uh, the dryer running in the background. 
Okay. So, I've got upper lower mouth trays, directions, cool little light. That's pretty cool. These swabs, some kind of super gel, teeth guide, and a coupon for makeup. Sweet. Could always use. Oh, there's something else on that. Okay, cool. I was, I was kind of wondering why they would send a makeup coupon with uh, with a teeth whitening kit. But stay tuned, we're gonna do a review on this stuff tonight. Uh, review on Whitewood style that I'm right around a seven or eight I don't know if you can actually see this right in between seven and eight um lighting kind of sucks in here but we'll go with it brush and floss uh, before whitening your teeth already done that I didn't think you guys won't care to see me brush and floss my teeth actually before we see the final results um, let's go ahead and put these suckers in oh it feels just coughing i started at an eight and then now we're right between a two and a three um i know uh, but, um, so I wasn't able to use it the entire time because I did not trim my mouth trays correctly and I got some gel on my gums and about 10 minutes in, it actually started to burn, um, went from a tingle to a burn and I decided that that was a bad thing so I took them out and so I only got about 10 minutes worth of whitening um, because the bleach had actually given me tiny chemical burns on my gums because it irritated them very quickly so uh, of course like everything else I immediately googled it and everyone was saying oh they'll go go away within a day um, at most and within 10 minutes they were gone Maybe if that, um, I rinse my mouth out and everything, like it said, and 10 minutes later they were gone and my teeth are now, they're pretty white. I mean, I don't, I don't really have any complaints. Um, the next time I'll be a lot more careful. A lot of what I read actually said to put the vitamin E on your gums first, 
and use a lot less gel um, and that'll keep it from actually getting into your gums and making it burn and giving you chemical burns um, but aside from that no complaints at all I mean my teeth are, are pretty white now so no complaints there um, but I did want to just sit down and talk to you guys about some other th uh, other stuff so I'm gonna throw up a motivational video tonight as well probably if not first thing tomorrow um, catch you in the next one